the only thing standing between you and what you want is, is a two-part equation, okay? The first thing is the one of the largest things that I think a lot of guys don't uh, really realize that they do, um, but the bullshit story you tell yourself as to why you can't have what you want, okay? Because a lot of you guys are are giving your like uh you're giving a bunch of bullshit stories to yourselves, saying like oh I can't have this because of this right, um and and it's such garbage because it's not it's not true whatsoever, okay. You can have whatever you want in life as long as you work towards it. It's not there's not some like mythical equation, okay. And I wanted to show you guys something today. It's like pretty fucking embarrassing, quite honestly. But I just wanted to, to, to be a good leader and lead by example, okay? And what I'm going to show you is a long, 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 long time ago, uh, and this is <laughs> this is this is how I wanted to start off the episode. Okay, this is a YouTube video I made ten years ago. Okay, this was on February twenty third, two thousand and twelve, and I want you just to. I'm gonna let the video. This this is the day that I quit my corporate job. Okay, I quit the corporate job and I began my journey to Japan. Take a look. Today I'm going to talk to you about the corporate world. Or as I like to call it, modern day slavery. Now, today was probably either one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life or one I'll regret soon. Stay tuned and you'll find out. But today I quit my job in the corporate world and it has been the most liberating feeling of 2012. And the reason I don't like corporate life, there are a slew of them and it all starts down to one thing. You have no freedom. They want you to be a robot. They want you to do what they say, when they say it, how they say to do it, approximately exactly when they want it done. You have no say. You comply or you leave and you will be fired. And that's just not something I want. I'm not a robot. That's something a robot does. I'm a human being. I have passion and that's why I I left today. I just had it. My passions are to entertain you, my loyal followers, however many I may have. But Hollywood Hogwood loves you. And I just got to say that if for some reason you have a job, you don't like it, you know, you just don't want to deal with it, if you have the means to leave it and you're unhappy, leave. Time is the most important asset we have in life. Now, I'm only 26. I don't know that much about life. But I will tell you that I do know that being happy is very important. And if you can do so logically, do it. I just don't understand the whole corporate life thing. 40 hours a week, that's a lot of time. Not to mention the time you have to put before and after. You know, the time you take to get to work to get back, to prepare for work, to unwind from work, all that factors in. Eight hours a day, that's one third of your day gone. One third, because according to scientists, you're supposed to sleep for eight hours, a minimum of six. That means you have about eight hours of freedom in the day, which you also have to tend to other aspects of your life, your personal life, all these other things. So it's just not good. 
It's not good. They give you a, a name tag. They tell you what to wear, what not to wear, what's acceptable. It's just, I don't know. I see it personally as modern day slavery. They brand you with an ID card. They tell you you have to abide by the rules. There's a process where I used to work called adherence. You had to adhere at a certain percentage. You had to adhere at least 90% of the time. And, you know, it's just... Shut up and take my me. money! So I want to hear what you guys think. I want to hear your comments, your thoughts, questions, whether you think I'm stupid, whether you think I'm really smart, brave, whatever. I care and I want to hear it. So send it out to me. Don't forget... So... That, that, that was me. That was me 10 years ago. 10 years ago. I was anti-wagey before the slang wagey even fucking existed. I knew there was more. But more importantly, I knew I had to become more. You guys understand that? Shut up and take my money. Okay. Thank, and thank you guys, Athens Hollywood Og would love it. I, you know, I didn't want the name to slip out because now all you weirdos are going to look up my old YouTube channel. Oh, it's still there. Whatever. I don't care. Um, I don't care. It's, it's, it is what it is, man. This is my life story. I got nothing. Like the, you know why? You know why I'm so what successful? Do you guys want to know why I'm so fucking successful? It's because I'm fucking real. And I don't have anything to hide. There's no fucking skeletons in my closet. None of that. Shit. I'm a thousand percent real. I'm a good man, right? I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I, I never go by the moniker of like, oh, I'm perfect. I'm untouchable. You know, I don't do shit like, you know, certain other fucking people are like, oh, my life is perfect all the time. Okay. And I'm, I'm just like you guys. And I, you know, we know my story. I got no, never met my dad, grew up poor, had my ass whipped when I was fucking little kid, you know what I mean? Like consistently beatings nonstop, okay? And, um, but I knew, I just knew that there was freedom on the other side of my ignorance. And there's a lot of fucking ego in this goddamn corner of the internet. And your pride and your arrogance and your laziness will be your own undoing. Effort is the great equalizer upon all men. Anything you want is on the other side of ignorance and laziness. Okay? No fucking excuses. Look at this. Look at this young kid that I was. 26 years old. 26 years old. Couldn't even grow the fucking beard that I have now. Not even that, I, not even that this is a full beard. I still have like an adolescent beard. But 26-year-old me was looking up to 36-year-old me like, let me get that adolescent beard, you know? 